Tiny Circuits, Tiny TV, it's been around for about three years, but there's been some recent updates from Tiny Circuits. I bought a Tiny Circuits, Tiny Video Player in the middle of 2019 before they released Tiny TV. It's my plan to make a miniature TV out of it. I tried and failed to produce my own video player out of an Arduino, so I thought I'd just buy the kit and design a, a TV-like case. I was doing other things at the time and by the end of 2019 Tiny Circuits came out with their Tiny TV. Happily for me it was backwards compatible with the Tiny Video Player and I just needed to print out their TV model on a 3D printer. Something that I don't think gets mentioned much or at all is the ingenuity of the design. To get colour, video and sound streaming through a Sam D21 ARM processor is actually quite a feat. This is the same microcontroller chip that's on the Arduino Zero. Uh, people have managed to get video streamed on an Arduino and they've managed to get sound and colour video streaming on things like the ESP32. But the, th the ESP32, however, is kind of edging a bit closer to a single board computer than a microcontroller. I've personally never seen sound and video done on something as small as the Sam D21 before Tiny TV came out. I'd hazard a guess that the Tiny TV kit was a good seller for Tiny Circuits. It's a mainstream type of item and there's plenty of YouTube unboxing videos and check this out videos with sort of clickbait titles of the world's smallest TV. It's obviously not a TV and it's soon to become the second smallest TV shaped video player. Tiny Circuits are coming out with two new Tiny TVs, uh, which will be launched on Kickstarter October 2022. The Tiny TV 2 and the Tiny TV Mini. So what do we know? Not that much. Tiny TV 2 has two 360 degree rotating knobs to adjust the volume and channel. It's got a new front facing speaker and it will cost $49. The screen resolution is up from 96 by 64 pixels to 216 by 135 pixels. That's quite a jump in resolution and that might suggest that they've updated the processor from the original um, Sam D21. Uh, what's, what's a mystery to me is the rotating knobs. To my knowledge there's no off-the-shelf rotary switch is that small in existence. Uh, perhaps it's some sort of light braking sensor switch design. Who knows, but it, it looks quite interesting. The case on the Tiny TV 2 does have some issues for me. It does look like it's using a rough SLS 3D printing process in possibly nylon. Um, I don't know if this will change for the production model. This could be just a a demo or a prototype. The case for the Thummy was really premium finish. It'd be nice to see that on the Tiny TV too. Also, if I'm being a little bit picky, the screen bezel is, is off. It's too wide. The screen bezel on the Tiny TV was also not quite right. Uh, and it shouldn't really be too difficult to get these things right. Uh, so it'd be nice to see an improvement there. But as I said, these might be prototypes that we're looking at. Even less is known about the Tiny TV Mini. We do know the screen resolution is 64 by 64 pixels, and it looks to be about half the size of the Tiny TV, which happily makes all those YouTube videos where they've said, I've got the world's smallest TV uh, completely redundant. <laughs> if you want to register your interest in the Tiny TV 2, there's a link in the description. The Kickstarter launches in October and I'd just like to point out I have no affiliation with Tiny Circuits and this video expresses just my opinions. Thanks for watching.